Funky D. Welcome back, everybody. In this segment, we go take a look on the reason why PDP is the only hope for Igbo presidency. Because the combination like that only PDP be the hope for Igbo presidency as we see them. But what about if PDP say no? Say now nah, inside their own political party they go choose what thing will be for the Igbo presidency or what thing will be for the organizing the Igbo when they think about the Igbo presidency. Let's say for example PDP say no, just like APC them done the talk. On a no see APC people, Ojuzo Kalo and other man oppose of them. They don't come and come talk say inside their party. They go select their own candidate. Say no be by tribe. What about if PDP say the same thing? Within will be the action of the organization in the ocean. A lot of things will go down. In this is a ladies and gentlemen. Serious infighting everywhere in that country. So, why PDP is the only hope for Ibu presidency in 2023? Now, somebody they talk, now, somebody they narrate the reason why if we see. Now only PDP go give Ibos the chance to contest under their umbrella as the column. That is under PDP political party. Okay. More than ever, but the clamor for an Ibo president by the Southeast has gained momentum and the good people of Ibo land are more hopeful that 2023 is going to be the year that their dreams will come true. Like I said before, now somebody the Nyana mind. Okay. However, the unrest in the Southeast and the clamor for a sovereign state might push as a limitation in their road to claiming the 2023 presidency unless they fail that goal and focus on the ultimate task of making an Igbo man the president of Nigeria, which is a more patriotic ambition. It is also a good thing that the leaders and top politicians from the East are beginning to get their house in order. They are beginning to work together and make important alignments with fellow patriots from other parts of the country that might turn out to be a great advantage for them in their pursuit for an people president. However, PDP, the only hope that the people have to clinch the presidential mantle in 2023 because of these reasons. So make we take a look on the reasons when this fellow they give. Because in the Telosina only inside PDP political party an able man he come out as president because APC is not sure whether APC go accept that thing. But in the fee see PDP he accept them because a lot of able men, prominent able men in PDP, able people now that made up PDP. Majority of Igbo people or Nigerian politicians from Igbo extraction are PDP members. So then they carry weight in that political party, what they call PDP. That is why this fellow, maybe the Nyan say, it's possible, say, PDP will allow that to happen because APC don't talk, say, they're not going to allow such a thing to happen in their political party. That is those people based on Tunubu. 
So my question is, say, what about now PDP can say no? Say such a thing, say they don't need them. Say now inside their political party, they want choose. And maybe not be somebody from Igbo extraction. Waiting on her is Indigo and Indigo General will come to. As this man now, this fellow, don't tell us now, see, all their hope now PDP because all of them got they inside PDP. All of them. All those big, big politicians from Igbo's extraction are PDP members. The man they give reason, say, reason number one. The seemingly political instability in the ruling APC puts the opposition party PDP in a more favorable position to gain the goodwill of Nigerians. Why then go gain the goodwill of Nigerians? When we say now them first fail, now them bring this failure, now the PDP political party. Why then go gain Nigerian people goods will? When they not perform and they never ever still perform, they can never perform. No matter who you voted for, or no matter who rig the election, say na ain't win the election because na rig it and the rig election in Nigeria. Not this one now when. Uh, I neck don't come out in this year, I do 2020. They talk, see, they go make sure, see, no rigging. When Buhari and uh, Una Buhari and uh, article they run, what did they tell you? When no more you show already, them, what those people they run, what did they tell us? Then see, no rigging now. Not be then gone, they take away come people when come vote. I will not be army and police when we see whether they carry by a lot bus for Buhari and uh, Atiko Abubakar. What are you talking about? Then we we'll always tell you, see, they're no good. Then we we'll always tell you, see, now the good will of Nigerian people, now them vote them. Now the only thing that they will tell us, the person continue. There is a higher probability of the Igbos getting the presidential ticket in PDP than APC. PDP can afford to put their aspiration on hold to help to actualize their dream. But this an uphill task for APC looking at the array of prospective aspirants lining up to cripple the party's presidential ticket. To explain further, look at the political tyrant in the country presently. PDP and APC remain the two major platforms for uh, any candidate or tribe that want to contest the next presidential election. But looking at the present condition of the two parties, only PDP might be ready to readjust their party's plan. To commentate or allow the Igbo people to take the bottom as their flag bearer to run the 2023 presidential title. APC, on the other hand, is replete with an array of prospective aspirants from the North and Southwest majority, which makes them a no go party for Igbo. Presidency. More so, the Igbo have a better chance of getting the presidential ticket from PDP because the Igbos have been major players in the party since its creation of the party in 1998, 22 years ago, and despite not being given a shot at presidency or the why. They have remained loyal and so far they have contributed greatly to the success of the party. And now, more than ever, they deserve to be compensated for their loyalty to the party. Waiting this fellow, the Nyan brother, it makes sense before. But now, it not come make sense again as we don't know see all of them 
even do see na a good model or anybody enter or just a color enter simple president or John Udo or all the whole of Hannes in Debo, all of them go see now for a solo. Now, still the nuts would they control the whole thing the same way when he did before, and so he goes still there because. All these things when our politicians they tell us see they won't make Nigeria better, they won't make Nigeria better. Not be Nigeria that they talk about. Now the opposite one won't be their political part. Now I'm be the Nigeria when they won't make better. Their political party. Now I'm be the Nigeria when they talk say they won't make better, they won't resolve their problems so that Nigeria go better. Now their political party. They won't balance their political party. Or they won't balance their political dynasty. Even all this fight, where they fight, not be because of us that they fight this fight, not because of their political party and their pockets. So it be make sense see now the turn of the indeed. But it not can make sense to anybody see we will continue to they live in the same way when we they live before. That is why a lot of people, a lot of Nigerian people, youths. Both from east, north, and south, they reject this kind of politics where they play in Nigeria. Everybody they reject and say no, no, no. Even uh, anybody enter there, now still those cabas they uh, they control the whole deal. That's why we say no. So I see they want restructuring. So I see no, not be restructuring. No, we want make the country break. So I see oh, na revolution now. So this twenty twenty three, na something when we see oh, na for don't put them on hold first. Take resolve the problem when they rock the country left and right, back and forth. Resolve the problem first. Then before you begin talk about. Onigbo presidency or Ohanes Ndigbo or the Europeans or the Northerners. So the guy continued. He said, and now more than ever they deserve to be compensated for their loyalty to the party, more so with an able man sitting at the helm of the party leadership. Uche Secondos, the national chairman of PDP, the Igbo people will get a better chance of getting the PDP presidential tickets than in any other party. Hence, it is obvious that PDP is the only hope for the Igbo presidency in 2023. Finally, despite the fact that President Muhammad Wari has done a lot for the group and progress of the country by helping to stabilize the economy development important social infrastructures improving the security situation of the country and helping to curb the menace of corruption in public offices many nigerians still think that apc has fallen short of their campaign promises and this will definitely put PDP in a more favorable position to win the trust of Nigerians and help the Igbo achieve their dreams of getting the presidency to their region if an Igbo man is given the button to run as the flag bearer for PDP in the next presidential election. Thus, the PDP is the only hope. That's the Igbo have to clinch the presidential mantle in 2023. God bless the Igbo people. God bless Nigeria. Now the Nyan is when that our fellow, the Nyan, be that. See, not only the PDP will help the Indigo actualize the presidency. But taking a look at the praises when the guy praise Muhammadu Buhari. That praises not make any sense and they don't hold any single water. Even today, a not another come out again, come blast Buhari. See, 
everybody when they praise that boy. I say all of them now liars, hypocrites. Now so they might call people when they talk about Buhari. A notana so stop praising this Buhari and they go from Kiddi say in wish all of them good luck. And also wish all of them are waiting on our wish on ourselves. One love, everybody. Bye from Canada. Don't forget to subscribe to Funky TV.